I'm Nikki and I'm Leia and today we're going to be talking about the server ink stand designed by Jean-Claude Duplessis. The globe of the world contains ink and the globe of the star signs contains sand which is used to blot any excess ink and stop it from smudging. The crown in the middle contains a bell which would have been used to call the maids or servants and the plate around it would have been used to rest the quills on it when not writing. I'm going to be talking to Helen Jacobson and asking her a few questions about the ink stand. How long would something like this have taken to make? It would have taken a very long time. There are numerous different stages in the production. First of all, you've got to get the clay together, the paste, and fire that in one go. That might take several days. And then you have to add the, um, the ground colour, the deep colours. That takes another session in the kiln, several days. And then other colours that you add to it after that, they also have to go back in the kiln, not to mention the gilding. So in the end, it could take several weeks even to make something like this. How many copies of this do you know of? We only really know of two that have been exhibited over the past uh, 50 years or so. Why did they use star signs? Well, they wanted to show the difference between the terrestrial globe, that's the countries of the world, and the celestial globe with all the star signs in the sky. And um, the reason for that is because in the 18th century, people were really discovering the world and were very, very interested in science and in astrology. Uh, and so it was considered something of interest and of um, great knowledge for people who had it and knew about it. How do we know that MA isn't Marie Antoinette? Well, uh, the one obvious reason is because um, the initials MA are opposite another diamond lozenge on the other side of the uh, inkstand which are in a diamond shape, which means that it belongs to the daughter of France, so the king of France's daughter. And Marie Antoinette was actually his granddaughter-in-law, so she wouldn't have had that particular shaped lozenge on a piece of work of art that she had. The other thing is that stylistically, this is very much from the Rococo period, and Marie Antoinette didn't get to France until 1770, when these kind of designs were not in fashion anymore. Even without all the gold and detail, was it only upper class who had such thing as an ink stand? Yes, I think probably very much so. Uh, something like this was incredibly expensive, so only very, very rich people could have it. But also you've got to remember that in 18th century France, not everybody could write. In fact, a huge number of people couldn't read and write. And they certainly wouldn't have had pens at home. Uh, therefore, they had no, no need to have an ink stand. And they certainly didn't need an inkstand with a bell to summon the servants because they wouldn't have had any servants either. Thank you for watching. You can have a look at, at the inkstand in the backstate room of the Wallace Collection. Remember to check out the rest of our series.